Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the most important thing you can add to your Jeep, and that's a fire extinguisher. If you're new here, welcome to my channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Now we can all agree that one of the worst things that can ever happen to your rig is for it to catch fire. So you wanna make sure that you have a fire extinguisher in your rig. So I'm a little embarrassed to say that I still have yet to mount a fire extinguisher into the Spooky Jeep. I haven't been going without one, it's just been kinda of sitting in the floorboard or sitting in the seat, and I have yet to mount it physically into the Spooky Jeep. Now fire extinguishers can be pretty cheap. This one here was relatively expensive. It actually came in a two pack. One thing that I don't necessarily like about it is it's got a lot of plastic and plastic is prone to breaking. You also wanna make sure that you check your fire extinguisher often and replace it when necessary. This fire extinguisher has a gauge to let me know when it's out of spec. Now they have these fancy new fire extinguishers that are kind of like a road flare or at least that's what they remind me of. I'm still not sold on how well they'll work in a practical application just yet. So for now, I'm sticking with a real fire extinguisher. Now when shopping around for an extinguisher, I highly recommend getting an ABC extinguisher. This way you're covered across all fronts that you might run into out there on the trail. You also wanna make sure that after you've used your extinguisher, you dispose of it properly. You don't want it to be hanging around your shop and pick it up to use it when you got a fire and accidentally grab one that is empty. Now there's a lot of things to consider when mounting your fire extinguisher. You want it to be accessible and usable and not prone to breaking. Now mounting it somewhere up in the front of the cab next to the driver's seat is a good idea. That way it's easily accessible to the driver. The only problem I have with that is I don't have enough space to mount it where it's not gonna get hit or dinged up. Now I have seen people mount them to the door but I feel like if it's mounted to the door, it's gonna be mounted sideways like this and there's gonna be a lot of leverage on it to where it's gonna wanna fall. Or if I bump it, it's gonna rip it out of the bracket. Now a good option for you might be to mount it in your passenger's floorboard, like my buddy Suburban here. This, it's out of the way, there's got plenty of room, but it's not really a viable option in my Spooky Jeep. Now another option would be to mount it somewhere in the back seat floorboard, kinda like here under the seat, it's tucked out of the way, but I have kids, so it's gonna be getting kicked constantly. So that's not a good option for me. Now, one last option might be the back of your rig. Now, it's not the best solution because it is extremely far away from the driver, and you have to keep in mind that if you keep the back locked and you need it in a hurry, it's gonna add some time. But in my case, it's gonna be the best solution because nowhere up front is really gonna work for me. Now, because I am mounting it in the cargo area, I'm gonna make sure that I mount it somewhere where it's not gonna get beat up. So I don't wanna mount it too low or on the floor itself because whatever gear I'm gonna have back here is gonna mess it up. So what I've decided in my case, I'm gonna mount it right here. It's easily accessible with the hatch open. It's not so far back that I can't reach it from the back seat if I have to. It also puts it up high enough that it's not gonna get dinged up by any gear I might have back here. And that is it. It's easily accessible and I'm protected. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. As always, don't forget to subscribe. You can check me out on TikTok at It's Project Venture, as well as Instagram at It's Project Venture. I also added a new P.O. box down in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm filming over here. <laughs>